All right, everyone, so here we go. We are about to get one of the brand new House of Wolves exotic DLC items. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go over to this vendor right here from the House of Judgment. Now, as you can see, I have just completed the final step to this exotic bounty, the Elder Cipher. So basically, whenever you get this, you get it from anywhere from a 32, a 34, or a 35 completion. Once you kill the final boss on whether it's a 32, 34, 35, you have a chance of getting this Elder Cipher bounty. Now, it's very, very rare. I was very, very lucky to get it. And after you complete it the first time, after you get the Cipher, you have to go back in and on level 32, 33, or 34, or level 32, 34, or 35, you have to complete it have a treasure key in your inventory, and then whenever you open up the giant kind of loot box, the, the treasure room in the very, very end, you will have a chance of completing the next step to the bounty. You'll see it whenever you get it. I forgot the exact wording of it. I wasn't recording whenever I got it, but you will get that second step. Then it will tell you to return it to this guy from the House of Judgment, and then you have to wait. And it seems like it's based off of in-game time. It, it It's kind of random. I, it, I waited for more than 24 hours, so it wasn't kind of like real time because I wasn't playing that entire 24 hours. It seems like it's a couple hours of real Real, real time game time. So uh, the more the more game time you play, obviously the better chance you're going to have. And then it's going to give you like kind of the completion and let you go over to the to the prisoner of elders. And then you have to start completing bosses. And as you can see here, my reward options right here. I'm very very excited about this. But um, then you go over to the prison of elders and you have to start killing bosses. The higher round, the higher level of boss, uh, the more points. And I don't really know what the exact point values was. I know if you beat level 35 twice it will complete it. If you beat level 35 the second and then the final boss, you will get enough points. It's a thousand points and uh, it's really not a lot of points for killing the first boss on any of them. The second boss is where all the points are at. What I did was uh, one, one level 35 and then two level 32s and it completed it for me. And as you can see, this will be the last thing that you do. So the Queen, Queen Breaker's Bow, this is, this is it right here. Better target acquisition. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. And as you can see here, the it, it does arc damage. Here are some of the stats right here. I'll let you guys pause it if you want to see anything. And my party is open, so some random people might might start joining here, which is which is uh, fine. I love playing with subscribers and everything like that on streams. But uh, here we got the Lord of Wolves, which is a 365 attack shotgun. And as you can see, this is what it looks like in game. Very, very cool right there. And then here are the stats if you want to pause it and read the stats. Again, these are just kind of like making it a little bit better, a little bit worse. Very, very cool. And uh, finally, last but not least, we have the Dreg's Promise, which is a sidearm. It uh, has reserve ammo, which is very, very cool. And this seems like the exotic version of the of the sidearm that we got inside of actual uh, actually playing it. So let me show you right here. This is what I believe it's kind of like. It's kind of like the exotic version of the Vestian Dynasty, which uh, which is this pistol right here that you got for completing some stuff. And uh, anyway, that's all. It's all said and done. But I'm gonna be choosing right here. I'm gonna be picking the Queen Breaker's bow, and I'll be waiting for all of you guys to yell at me. And someone's actually listening to my video inside of my lobby right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up, the Queen Breaker's bow. Dun da da dun. Acquire. I'm choosing this one, and uh, there it is, right there. The Queen Breaker's bow is now acquired and ready to go inside of my inside of my game. So uh, let me go ahead and boot these guys before they before they give give me a copyright strike on my own video. Uh, but there we go. I have the Queen Breaker's bow, and now let's go ahead and get into some of the uh, some of the gameplay here of me actually using this bad boy inside of the Crucible and inside of PVE. So here we go. All right, so here we go. We are going to be playing in the level 30. Four version of Prison of Elders. I am a level 34 and this weapon is not upgraded at all, but obviously it does already have this 365 attack. So it should be pretty fair fight. It should let you guys have an idea of what this thing looks like in game and how, it, how well it is able to be used. We're gonna go ahead and get rid, right into it here. And as you can see, I mean, those, those were those were little, little, little Gregs there, but this thing looks like a lot of fun to use. It basically looks like a fusion rifle sniper type thing that is going to allow you to, uh, I mean, obviously I'm playing Prison of Elders solo, so. Uh, it, it's basically going to allow you to charge it up and then shoot out a, a sniper-like fusion rifle shot, which is pretty, pretty darn cool. Let me see here. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Headshot multiplier, almost 4K damage on those acolytes. Very, very cool. Ammo is not too bad. Yeah, if you, it's very punishing if you get a body shot. I, I'm interested to see how this is going to play in Crucible for this next little bit of gameplay that I that I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, it's 
Uh, I, this doesn't look, I mean, maybe on arc burn or something like that, this would be super, super useful. But uh, hopefully this thing is a Crucible Master or else I, I, I don't really see myself using this a whole bunch. And everyone's going to, after seeing this gameplay, of course, they're going to be like, why did you choose all the different things? But uh, the, the Lord of Wolves or something. But uh, so far, it's very unique. It's very cool. It kind of reminds me of the Mythic Last a little bit. Let me see if it, if it has that rotating view, kind of like a Mythic Last. No, it doesn't have the rotating view. But uh, pretty darn cool, pretty darn cool weapon. And uh, obviously you need to have that. There we go. I wasn't I wasn't sure why that wasn't hitting, but uh, very very cool weapon. You definitely need to have that accuracy to use this, and uh, it seems like there this is one of the two different versions. This one is kind of like a long range version, and then obviously this version right here is the combat sight, lower zoom sight with the faster charge time and ability energy display. So this is kind of like the sniper version. This is going to do a lot of damage at long range, but. Um, is or uh, it, it's kind of better for long range. It's gonna take a longer time to charge up, but the lower lower zoom sight version is gonna be better for that uh, get that DPS getting more damage out. So very very cool. Uh, obviously that is again a level 34 ogre there that I'm shooting at. So just just for reference, this is a 365 fate bringer. A little bit closer up is doing about six 600 damage. Let me let me scoot back again and shoot it from the same range. Um, yeah, again, about a 600, 655 on the Fate Bringer, about uh, 2k on that, so actually pretty darn powerful. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see, it remains to be told. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop over to a little bit of Crucible, and I'll show you guys some more gameplay with the Cre Queen Breaker's Bow. Alrighty, so welcome everyone to the Crucible part of this gameplay here. As you can see, hopefully, yeah, there we go. This thing is a pretty darn fun little weapon to use and can be used at my my favorite thing, multiple ranges. This is the, probably my favorite thing that I like about this gun so far is that it can be used at long range with this scope and hopefully I'm gonna be unlocking the second scope and have some little bit of gameplay after this with, uh, with that scope here. So uh, this is going to be a one shot headshot, one shot body shot on people who are weak. Now it's gonna almost kill people. It's gonna almost always kill people. Who are, who are no shields, who are half shields, something like that. It is going to put them very, very low health if you hit them in, a bot, in the body. If you hit them in the head at any range, one shot, one kill, as you saw from the very, very beginning of this video. So let me grab this special ammo since we are obviously gonna be using this in today's video. But as you can see, as you can see right there, that is the kind of situation you do not want. Rapid firing guns, people who are just kind of spraying you down, making you flinch a lot, recoil a lot, everything like that, are going to just pretty much wreck you every single time. But as you can see there, if you get them a little bit weak, you shoot them in the body, they're gonna pretty much drop every single time. So uh, very, very nice, uh, very, very nice gun in that aspect, but um, what are you doing, bro? Okay, well, <laughs> that wasn't too bad, okay? But like, using, using this, you can out-snipe people, you can finish people off. We're actually getting a pretty good gameplay here. Go on, Noah. But uh, overall, it's a really, really fun weapon to use. It is not the most useful. And uh, it really is a, just a sniper for close range maps. Thank you, teammates. Really appreciate that. Uh, it ha actually has pretty good, like, no scope capabilities. Uh, but again, situations like that, you're, you're just not going to get kills, and then you're probably going to get picked off from the other side. So uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more gameplay. We're going we're gonna to try to get a little bit more of a clip here, and if I cut the video randomly, it means that I'm about to do really, really badly. But uh, I'm going to get you guys a little bit more gameplay of the uh, Queen Breakers with this site on it, and then I think we're going to unlock, during this game actually, the uh, the more the more tactical, closer range site. And that guy just went off with the golden gun. Holy moly. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. There we go. So we just unlocked the upgrade here. Let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on. This is the combat sight, the the, the lower zoom sight. Oh my gosh, so it's like a red dot sight, basically. And then it looks like that thing went around to the... Oh, that's cool! So it just switches the scope. So like, I have this scope, and then if I throw it back on, if I throw, if I throw the, uh, the regular one back on, it's gonna switch over to the other side. It's gonna zoom into that side. That is actually a pretty darn awesome little feature there. That, that's pretty pretty neat aesthetically. So let's try to, oh, crap. Freaking wrecked, son. Freaking wrecked. That was, that was so clutch. That was such a clutch shot. So again, it, it looks like it's actually going to charge up faster, which is very, very nice. Let me go ahead and knife that guy. Get around the corner here. Charge up faster, it's gonna do a lot more, and I don't think a lot more. I think it does the same amount of damage. I wanna say it might do less just because you have to charge up more. Again, this is gonna be a very in-depth review. Uh, if you guys wanna see that, I'm sure 
I'll have that up eventually, but again, situations like that, you're just gonna lose pretty much every single time, unless you were accurate enough to get that one shot headshot. And to give you guys an idea of my skill level, um, whether or not you're gonna be able to use this thing when you're deciding what you, what you wanna use. My skill level is, uh, I think I, I played two different trials today, like two different trials runs, Trials of Osiris came out today. Gameplay on my channel if you wanna see that as well. But um, two different trials runs, oh my gosh, where, where are these people? Uh, two different trials runs, I pretty much got, um, got nine wins and two losses on the first run, and on the second run we got nine wins and, uh, Nine wins and zero losses. So those were the two different runs. I was pretty much top of my team every single round besides a few. And um, just to give you guys an idea of whether or not you're going to be able to use this thing as effectively as I seem to be using it in this one. But again, on those close range encounters, unless you have time to line up your sight or you get lucky, you're going to lose pretty much every single time. And obviously it will get a little bit better. As you can see, it's pretty... Pretty decent no scope range. Like if I just warm it up and try to shoot through there, it's it's pretty it's pretty high chance I'm actually going to uh, hit them. But that can get even better with uh, with with more upgrades and more perks and everything like that that you can actually unlock during this thing. So we got another kill there. It's really good for picking off kills from your teammates because it does a lot of damage if they're getting your uh, get, getting these guys weak. We're actually out of ammo for it. So I never used the Fate Bringer in PV, PvP, but I guess we're using it now. Recently upgraded to 365. Let me see if we can go. Yeah, so let's let's play for this special ammo right here. Um, go in real quick. Oh, excuse. <laughs> Whoa, they hit this team spot. If I had golden gun there, we might have we might have had ourselves a feed, boys. The kill feed. Let me go ahead and see if I can't grab. Hello, ammo. Oh, there it is. There it is. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. All right, so let's actually reload this and see if we can snipe those guys across the way right there. Even with the uh, low, low range ballistic side. So we traded kills with them, which is actually really, really good for the fact that we were using a uh, kind of basically a red dot site to snipe across the map. So if you have good target acquisition, I probably would recommend this because it has a charger fa faster charge up time. And um, obviously obviously you can, uh, you can acquire targets that are, that are closer range and everything. You don't have to worry about the super zoom or anything like that. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can't finish this guy who's over here. Looks like he's running away. That's that's the only problem with this. The sniper. Oh, I, I hit him. Uh, the snipers are going to be able to just shoot as soon as they pop out. For for you, you have to basically time it with the fusion rifle. So it's honestly better if you're popping in and out. You're not holding an angle with this thing. Uh, because obviously, if you're if you're having to hold the angle, you aren't gonna be able to shoot as soon as they pop out. They can pop out and then quickly s shoot you. You have to basically sit there scoped in. And like, if I'm watching this angle, I see him. Like, ready? He pops out. That's the soonest I can shoot him. Or if you kind of pre warm it up and get lucky, that's obviously another way to do it. But uh, not as effective. So it's better if you're just kind of popping out, being being mobile with this thing. Ready? Pop out. Ready? Pop out. Just time it. Time it with your pop outs and. Uh, Try to get try to get that going for you. So, um, I guess I guess this is about going to wrap up the game play. We're gonna get shot in the back. But yeah, once again, this is the setup that I was using. You guys can uh, obviously replicate this if you want to reach level 34. Here's my Queen Breaker's bow. It actually is leveling up very, very quickly. And uh, again, the sights are very, very cool. Bonus accuracy from firing one of the hips, so you can get those hip shots in. Switch, swoop, swoop. Switch weapons faster, uh, reload this weapon faster, increase range and accuracy, better target acquisition. So again, uh, just kind of improving your accuracy, making sure you're able to shoot all of those targets as they pop out. And uh, overall, very, very cool gun. I really, really do recommend it. If you like kind of playing with uh, quirky weapons and stuff like that, especially just one shot sniper rifle fusion rifles very very cool uh awesome awesome addition to the game and uh that one shot headshot is is pretty darn satisfying when you get it and it's actually useful for more than that situation so that is going to about wrap it up i hope you guys have enjoyed the video again make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not seen my channel before and you are brand new to the channel we do a lot of destiny stuff we do a lot of gta stuff we have a lot of fun and uh yeah that is going to about wrap it up. So uh, just fading it out here with with my beautiful, beautiful ship that I got from level 35, uh, Prison of Elders. We are going to go ahead and close out the video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. My controller is about to fall off. Really, really appreciate it. And goodbye.